What's going on YouTube? Tone M here. Back again with a review and uh, shooting, actually, also, of the uh, new toy I got the other day. It's the uh, MK50A2 uh, 5PL 50 pound crossbow pistol. The A2 stands for aluminum body. I didn't get the the, the high-tech plastic body. I got the actual aluminum body. Uh, I, I read a lot of reviews and uh, uh, the aluminum body is the way to go. Um, it's uh, the 50-pound one. Um, I was going to get the 80-pound, but in the long run, I realized because I was looking at the specs and stuff, the 50-pound the that I got um, launches the bolt. It's a six and a half inch uh, plastic bolt with a very very sharp uh, metal tip um, two fin design uh, bolt uh, plastic uh, they also come in aluminum but I guess the aluminum is uh, more for the 80 pound but anyhow um, it'll, it'll launch both so just anybody that's out there well, why won't it shoot it'll shoot both um, anyhow the uh, 50 pound uh, launches the bolt at 150 feet per second and the 80 pound launches it at 160 feet per second so in the long run I got this for because it's the aluminum body one I got it for 16 bucks the plastic one was like 15 or 14 something like that and uh, I was thinking to myself like why spend twenty dollars because that's what the eighty pounds were going for uh... twenty two for the aluminum body um, why spend twenty to twenty two dollars more for ten feet per second plus you know what i mean so in the long run i ended up just going with the fifty pound um, and i've shot it a couple times and i, I read a lot of reviews about oh man you know um, it's a toy, it, it won't do anything, they say it can shoot and, and, and hurt people and blah blah blah, I think it'd bounce off me and all this crap. Um, well, a couple nights ago I was playing around with it when I took my dog out for a walk and I uh, started uh, popping bolts into a palm tree uh, that's in my yard and uh, I was about roughly where I am right now lengthwise from this target here uh, to where I'm standing, so it's about 20 feet, and, uh, it was, uh, it was launching these bolts, um, with enough strength to go into the palm tree up to about where my thumb is, so, you gotta figure that's the tip all the way to there, it's about maybe two and a half inches, now that's two and a half inches into wood, um, I can imagine what it would do to soft tissue such as a person, an animal, uh, bird, or, or whatnot. So to say that these are toys um, is just ridiculous. Um, to say you can't hunt with them is ridiculous. I mean, there's enough small critters out there, raccoons, squirrels, rabbits, um, hell, pesky cats. Uh, stuff like that. Not that I'm saying to go out and just, you know, go rampaging through the neighborhood clearing out varmints. I'm saying, you know, y you can take care of critters. It's not, it's not, um, you know, just a toy or whatnot. Now, um, the other reason why I got this, um, not just for clearing out critters and whatnot that come through the backyard or anything, but uh, also because it is a fun cheap little plinking tool uh, toy I know not a toy but for me I'm using it as such because let's face it nowadays it's expensive as hell to go out to the shooting range every week or every other week I know the range prices around my area uh, fluctuate from fifteen dollars an hour five dollars an hour which that's the cheapest one and uh, Hell, I think the newest one that opened up is uh, roughly about 20, 20 bucks, something like that. 20 bucks an hour. And um, 
yeah, that's just, you know, and then you add on top of that ammo prices and, you know, you know, I mean, it, it just, it gets, it gets, uh, it gets expensive. It's an expensive hobby. So I went ahead and picked up a crossbow so I can play with it in the backyard. And, um, I also kind of wanted to do this video to show it off. And that's what she looks like. It comes unassembled. You have to put the limb on and everything, which, like I said, this is aluminum body, so it's all aluminum. And uh, it's a metal limb right here. Um, the 5PL that it says on the box there, uh, MK50, uh, 5PL, the 5PL is this right here. It holds five uh, bolts, which not all of them come with that. Um, that was another reason why it was a little more expensive besides having an aluminum body. It also came with a, a bolt carrier. So you put one up and you got five down there, you got six shots, you know, and of course if you have a little pocket quiver or whatever with you with uh, other bolts and stuff. Now, um, when you fire these, um, I, I haven't, I haven't, uh, shot anything longer yet out of it. I just, like I said, got it, uh couple days ago and um, I've been more or less just shooting these but I've seen a couple videos where people had the 80 pound and they were making their own uh, arrows and whatnot and uh, one of the guys um, crap I can't think of his name I was watching this video um, he has the 80 pound auto cocker which has got the little stem in the back that you can uh, quickly cock it instead of this uh, thing here and it doesn't also it, you see this one this one has the foot peg um that's more for the 80 pound i i guess there's a 50 pound version with it the ones i saw online and whatnot where i got this from which was uh from uh uh crossbow.com or crossbowstore.com and um uh, I didn't see any with those the only ones I saw that had the foot kick on it was uh, the 80 pounds and whatnot um, and of course they had the auto cockers and everything but anyway I mean it's it's a 50 pound pull you only got to pull it five inches it, for some people I know my brother had a little trouble with it but it's really not that bad with a little practice and some you know arm strength or whatnot it's it's really not that bad I will tell you what was a pain in the butt putting this darn uh Stringing it. Stringing it was a bitch. Uh, I'm not going to lie. They, they tell you use a friend or put it between two chairs. The I bought two of these. One was a present for my brother, and uh, this one's mine. And um, the first one I put together was my brother's. Or, I'm sorry, no, I lied. I, I, I put mine together first. Um, I figured because if I broke it or something, you know, I still, you know, learn from your mistake and then... That way I can give the gift to him or whatnot, and it'd be a good one, you know, a better one. But uh, anyhow, um, I uh, I had my wife help me, and that was a pain. I'm sitting there trying to, you know, two-hand it, you know, putting the, the stock on my knee and trying to manually bend the thing down with both my arms while she put the string on real quick. Uh, hurt my knee. I, I gave me a good little shiner on my knee. Uh, and uh, my leg was sore for a couple of days, or for, yeah, for a couple of days. I just actually stopped being sore. I still got the bruise, though. Um, and so when I went and put my brothers together, I, uh, I used the two-chair method that I actually learned on YouTube. Um, you put it between two chairs, and you just push down that way with these the two tips on the chairs, uh, in between two chairs, and just more or less push the gun in between it. And uh, it gives you a good bend. It's a steady bend, and it's easier to string that way. And I actually, uh, I, I recommend that method the best. Um, so let's see what are the features of it. It's got a Picatinny rail up here. Uh, comes with an adjustable sight. Goes up, down, left, right for air and all that. It also has a uh, bead on there, a little sight bead. And uh, it's actually very accurate once you get it all set up. Man, you get the little uh, um, top part there set up to your eyes. And uh, it works really well. I mean, I haven't had a problem with it. It, it launches very well. Um, the other thing about that, excuse me, the other thing about that, uh, the Picatinny rail, is if you don't care for the uh, 
the sight here, you can take this off. It's only one screw that's holding it. Well, two if you count this one, but that's more or less for up and down um, aiming. But anyway, uh, you can take that off, and you can pop on a little cheap uh, red dot or scope on it or whatnot um, for like a Crossman BB gun. And uh, I actually was trying to do that because my, uh, my brother left behind one of those uh, M, uh, M4 um, airsoft BB guns and it came with a little flashlight tactical thing and uh, uh, a red dot sight on it and um, also came with a foregrip which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, he uh, left it and I guess uh, when we had the yard sale I guess we actually sold it and got rid of the parts for it because I was I was looking for it just before I did this video to put the red dot sight on it because I thought it'd be cool. Um, as far as distance goes, um, it says it's good for uh, up to 20 to 30 yards. I uh, I haven't shot it that far, so I really couldn't tell you. Um, I've seen the videos that they do have on YouTube of somebody uh, launching. I think it was a 50 pound one uh, about 25 yards he said he was he was from his porch launching it to a mattress and uh, he kind of did like a speed shot thing how many times he could fire it without it uh, having a failure and uh, I think he got like eight shots or something like that or no 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 I'm sorry he got like 13 shots before it actually uh, uh, misfired which misfiring basically is the uh, the rope or the string goes over the bolt so the bolt stays right oops sorry that's shaky the bolt stays right where it's at um and the string just carries forward um it's got a nice little uh right there if you can see that that little curve there that's a uh, your bolt holder so you can actually walk around in the woods with it cocked and loaded and uh shake it and stuff and it won't fall out it's actually a pretty cool little design um all right so that's about the gist of it it's made in taiwan so it's really well built i know there's a couple different versions out there um there's a cobra or whatnot um the, from what i understand about the cobras it's really not exactly uh a cobra crossbow it's the limb the limb right there that's the cobra part the body itself is Man Kung or MK, which is that's what this brand is, is Man Kung, which that's what the MK stands for. And uh, it's Taiwan. And um, I guess there's different brands or different companies that make the limb. Um, this one's not Cobra. This is MK all the way through from top, finish, bottom, bolt stall. So uh, um, from what I've read and everything, Taiwan crossbows are like the best built. So. Um, I've only had it a few days, so I, I can't really say. Uh, I haven't had any failures. I haven't had any uh, uh, things fall apart off of it yet or anything like that. Nothing's gotten loose. Um, again, I've only had it a couple days, and I've shot it maybe twice. This will be my third time. But uh, without further ado, I'll go ahead and uh, shoot a couple at that target there. Um, as you can see, it's a, uh, I got it set up. And that's the beauty of having a little crossbow pistol, is uh, it doesn't have to have a lot. Um, I just have a little stool there holding up the target. You can see a soccer ball, and I have a coconut. Um, the coconut is mostly because I want to see if it's got enough uh, force to go through a coconut, uh, or at least puncture a coconut, because that's like I said, it went into a tree, and it went to a tree for about, like I said, about two inches two and a half inches so I figure a coconut that's pretty close to like someone's skull maybe a little harder than someone's skull so uh, you know if you can go into a coconut you could definitely use this as a self-defense weapon and it'll definitely do hunting no problem um, and of course the soccer ball um, is real thick uh, it's thicker than skin so I mean right there if it'll puncture a soccer ball then um, yeah it'll definitely puncture a person no problem um, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cock this thing. Now it's kind of hard because I'm, I'm using one hand to do the phone, uh, do the camera. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna try and prop this phone. Or I can see, you might be able to see that. 
Yeah, I think you can see it. There you go. I don't, I don't know if you can see that or not. All right, so basically, if you can see it, I'm trying here. You can you just pull that back. Make sure you push this forward. Uh, you don't want to fire with it all the way extended. It can uh, crack the frame. So push that forward. You got your bolt here. Let's see, you want to slide that in right there. And uh, just push that. And be careful because that tip is sharp. Push it all the way to the back till it stops. All right, I'm gonna pick the camera up now. Okay, and that's what it looks like, fully cocked and uh, loaded. Now um, it does have a safety. The safety automatically locks when you cock it. Um, all the way back is safe. You push it forward with your thumb to uh, disengage. And we're going to go ahead and aim. I'm going to I'm going to zoom into the target here. Let's see. I'm going to try and go for the soccer ball first. Got it. Got that thing no problem. There we go. Beautiful. Once you get that sighting in, man, that thing's accurate as hell. And again, this is from 20 feet, so let's go ahead and do this. Alright, so got myself locked and loaded here. Gonna go for that coconut. All right, that's at 20 feet, and it actually spun the coconut around. So let's zoom out. I'm gonna load this thing one more time, and without a tip, at roughly six feet away. All right, so about six feet away. All right. There we go. Ooh, all right. Let's see how bad this was. Okay, I'm gonna set that right here. Come on now, there we go. Nope, it's, well, I don't know why I zoomed out. There we go, there. Alright. Okay, so, first shot was this one, and that was at 20 feet. Second shot was this one, and this was at 6 feet. And this was without a tip. So, let's go ahead and do the pullout for the 20 feet. So, 20 feet had a metal tip on it. Let's try and get this bad boy out without me rocking the camera too much. So you see my thumb, and let's get this bad boy out. Ooh, it's in there. Okay, might lose the tip on this. Get a little twist. Okay. All right, my thumb did slide back a little, roughly. It was about in there that much. So, well, there you go. Well, right there. Actually. You can't, I don't know if you can focus in on it. It hit it hard enough to where it actually kind of left a mark right there where my thumb is. So, 20 feet with a metal tip. It's roughly about from, from uh, tip to thumb. About easy, two inches, two and a half inches. So, that's at 20 feet, and that's with the metal tip. Let's see what it did at 6 feet without a metal tip, which, as you can see, without a metal tip still works. Um, so, and again, that's 6 feet without a metal tip into a coconut. So, let's see here. My thumb right here. 
And this one should be a little bit easier. I don't have to worry about taking the head off of it. So let's give it a good pry out there. Okay. And that's without a... Wow. So without the metal tip at six feet, not only did it penetrate, but it penetrated roughly about the same length into it. So roughly about the same, about two inches. And you got to think that uh, metal tip comes out about a half an inch. So, so let's see here. Okay. Just to get a better understanding. I don't know how we'll set this up to do that. Because um, I'm holding this with one hand. Um, you see the tip here, all right. You see that little ring right above. Let's see if it'll focus. All right, it's trying to. Anyway, right where the point is, it comes down a little bit, and you see a little ring. That is roughly where the plastic tip of the bolt is. This. That part right there, the top of that yellow, is right where this uh, ring is. So that right there is another half inch of just of just metal. So from there to where it was was about two and a half inches with the metal dart. So this penetrated two to two and a half inches without a metal dart at six feet away. So yes this thing is very highly capable of hunting it is very highly capable of penetrating hard objects I mean in consistency of what it would be for a skull or some kind of bone um, I think a coconut is pretty considerably equal um, now I could be off a little. I mean, a coconut might be harder. Your skull might be harder. But either way, I, we can all agree that this thing's got some power for uh, a 50-pound crossbow. So there you go, guys. That's uh, the MK50A2 uh, by Mankung. And uh, it's a Taiwan-built uh, aluminum crossbow. Hope you guys enjoyed. And... Uh, I'll definitely have some more videos of shooting other things with it. Take it easy. Tone M out.